I offended some people, bro. Did the joke about the LMNOP community? I didn't know nobody was mad till I got outside. It was three gay dudes laying on my hood. Soon as they saw me, they went off. Uh-uh, say what you said. Say what you said. Well, do the joke then, bitch. Say the joke. Say what you said. Say what you said. Say it. I scratch you, bitch. I was like, oh my God. That's the only thing that scared me was this little hand. Say what you said. That shit funny, she done laughed, her eyelash off. Oh, shit! Ah, he's so damn stupid. Lady, stop wearing that shit. You already look good. We don't know what the fuck be fake on y'all no more. These ladies wearing these long ass eyelashes and shit, then she try to sneak and take it off. Now you staring at her trying to figure out what the fuck missing. No, bitch, blink. Do something. What is missing on your face? <laughs> These ladies don't give a shit about us no more. They used to have discretion. They used to hide that shit. You didn't even know what was fake. I let a girl spend the night over my house. She gonna take the fake eyelashes off and smash them together and left them on the counter. Forgot to throw them away. I go in the bathroom. I think I got fucking tarantulas at my house. What kind of roach is that? <laughs> they don't even have this shit no more. Lace front wigs, they don't even glue them bitches on no more. They just wearing them like fitted hats. <laughs> is we going out or what? What we doing? Y'all bitches playing, see, that's the thing. That's what I like, though. I love old project-ass woman. Shout out to all the hood women. I just love old project-ass. That shit's sexy as hell. I'm talking about one of them old real hood-ass bitches. Type that to kill a roach and keep cooking. <laughs> I'm like, get out. See all the ladies in here, they got dudes, they committed, they faithful, they can come out in public because Birmingham's small. If you fucking off, somebody gonna know it. But out of all these seats, I know it's a nigga sitting here right now, heart beating real fast. He see the girl he rolled earlier today. Nigga got his whole life sitting beside him. She know something ain't right, because this nigga ain't laughing all the way. The nigga, you know the nigga just giggling when he gives. <laughs> It's you, ain't it? <laughs> nigga, uncomfortable in here, boy. Who you in here with? Oh, all right, that nigga ain't laughing. You better watch him. <laughs> On the front row, say what? She gonna let it be known. She look like she can fight. She got four braids going straight back, bro. She'll beat a bitch up. Her mama and her auntie gonna pull up and a grand now with some scrubs on. Bitch, who touched Kiki? What is it? <laughs> It's Birmingham, that bitch grandma might pull up in the night. Hey, who touched my grandbaby? <laughs> Hell yeah. Shout out to all the niggas in here who sell weed, not big bags, just little bags. <laughs> These Birmingham niggas a little bag, you the devil, bro. Let me get a quarter. This nigga brought back seven bags. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, put all that shit in one bag. They gonna give us the sale charge if they catch me with all these little bitty cocaine bags. Why is you putting weed in the cocaine bag, man? <laughs> Nigga selling weed one leaf at a time down here. <laughs> Get four more of these, we can roll a whole blunt. These women too aggressive out here, man. Times have really changed. They'll run up on you, how you feeling like the girl? Like, what's up? You ain't like you scared to talk to a real bitch. <laughs> have you standing there like the bitch? Like, I am. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not seeing nobody. Telling you, you better watch who you messing with, fella. It's some, it's some new head out. Yeah, I was getting some of it about two Tuesdays ago. 
that new head. This shit's so good, she done sucked my sock off. My shoe was still on. I like this audience, though. I'm glad they mixed it up. I like a mixed audience, man. White people, you can learn a lot tonight. It's a lot about us as black people that y'all don't know. Like, white people don't know that black people don't even die. <laughs> Bruh, you ain't never heard of no black people dying. That is some white people shit. You be at your job, they hit you with the news. Hey, you hear what happened to Steve? Hell no, what happened to Steve? Steve died. <laughs> when did Steve die? Steve died Wednesday. <laughs> when was the funeral? Wednesday afternoon. <laughs> When you die, they through with you. They don't spend no extra time on your ass. They take their lunch break, go view your body. Yep, that's him. Let's go get a Starbucks. <laughs> Not black people. We don't die. We pass. <laughs> Same scenario. You at your job working on a Thursday. They come hit you. Nigga. <laughs> you heard what happened to Carlos? Hell no. What happened to Carlos? Nigga, Carlos pass. When Carlos passed? Nigga, Carlos passed Thursday. When the funeral? January, my nigga. <laughs> his brother gotta come, his little sister still in school. <laughs> when you die, you have a funeral. Black people don't have funerals? What we have? Home going, celebration. Mm -mm. Home going be sad as hell, don't it? Unless it's a thug. Nigga from the street about that life. Then it's interesting, because the pastor don't know what to say. He's just up there making up shit, saying everything and nothing at the same time. Now, Carlos, what's Carlos? And every time you saw Carlos, he was Carlos. Home going be sad as hell, don't it? The family had to scrape that little money together. Get that little black owned funeral home. That's some of the scariest black people in the whole community. Tell the truth. Cause y'all going through something as a family. They standing up still promoting the business. Borderline disrespectful like, hello. My name is Willie Jackson. On behalf of Jackson's funeral home, where our motto is, we can't live if you do. <laughs> Before I get out, I gotta give a shout out to the OGs, the old school players, man. Shout out to.